Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to what I'm hoping is my final Christmas haul. The only other video that I know I want to share with you are some makes that I've done, um, but I think this is the last of the haul items. And I actually pitched, picked these up today, so today is Christmas Eve Eve, so the day before Christmas Eve, and I was driving home and I spotted a home bargain that I've not been to in ages. The home bargains I went to recently just had no Christmas stuff. So I went in there on a whim and I actually had some lovely bits. So I'll start with some of my favourite purchases. I don't often do that. Um, but I saw these, I've seen these all over. Instagram, YouTube, you name it. I picked up one of the three cake stands, the little Christmas tree cake stand. I have bought some mince pies for Christmas. And we've also got a little like cupcake mix to make little cupcakes and I thought Do you know what that will look really pretty with all our little desserts on it they've actually made some really fancy ones but um, I don't think I'll have time this year and this was only 9 99 they didn't have any of that star nibbles dish that everybody's been hauling I didn't see that anywhere and um, that would have been nice but I'm really really happy with this so I picked that one up and then the other item I've seen a lot of online is the Christmas tree glass jar and I was lucky enough to pick two of these up. I've actually got two. There's another one next to me. Um, so that's what it looks like. You can pop whatever you like in it. You can use it for decor. You could fill it with lights, as you see in the picture. You could put um, food items in this. I'm not sure what we're going to do with these. They were $7.99. I picked up two because there were quite a lot there. And I thought potentially either end of the table with the cake stand in the middle for a little bit of sort of symmetri symmetry. Um... But yeah, so I picked two up and I didn't feel bad because they actually had loads. I know this has been really hard for people to find, but as I say, I was quite lucky. Then I found this, which I just thought was super fun. So it's a tin. Looks like an old-fashioned radio and it's got like a really fun little handle on the top as well. And that's what the back looks like. So with the antenna and what appears to be the speaker. It's actually quite scratched on the back, which is a shame. I didn't realise that in there. Um, and this was $3.99 and it's filled with cookies and it's just going to be a bit of a stocking filler present for my dad. I just thought it was really fun um, and just quite retro. So I grabbed that. I picked Matt and I up a hot chocolate bomb each. They did have white chocolate snowmen and Father Christmases and all sorts but I find that we get a few of these and it takes us ages to eat through them. And we do have a couple of plain ones from Aldi in the cupboard. So I only picked up the two little elves. And inside it's got chocolate chips and marshmallows. These make an amazing hot chocolate. But they are quite naughty because obviously they're made with pure chocolate. So one, either one twenty nine or one forty nine for those. Then we picked up a couple of bottles of wine for Matt. Sorry, I know I'm rustling in the background. I can't get it out. Um, it's two bottles of the same. It's this one here called 19 Crimes. I bought this for Matt last year for... I feel like it was for Christmas that I bought this for him. And I'd got it from Asda. And he absolutely loved it. So it's a 2020 Cabernet Sauvignon. Um, which I think the one last year was obviously the 2019 one. He really enjoyed this wine. And it's normally about £10 in Asda. And it was 7 something or 9.75 no seven seven pounds something for this um i feel like seven pound fifty or something like that so we picked up two of those for him and then i just picked up a couple more little bags of treats because for my parents dogs i've not got one of the toys i've got for the other dogs i picked them up a little packet of all sorts each and i picked a packet up for chester as well i'm not sure if he can have these yet because some things he's a little bit too i mean seven months now but some things say nine months. I might have to keep hold of this for a little while because it doesn't actually say. So I'm not 100% sure, but they were only a pound for a bag. So I thought they were quite good. And then also for Chester, I picked up, how cute is this? A little Christmas jumper. So we picked up the extra small because he's still really, really little. But I just thought this would be really fun. I might put it on, put it on him tomorrow because my parents are popping around to, to drop off Christmas presents. So I might have him ready in his little Christmas jumper. But how sweet is that? It was £2.49. They also did little like Christmas pyjamas. And I attempted getting them for him. But I just don't think he'd enjoy wearing them. Because they go up on the arms and legs as well. And I just know he's not going to be feeling very happy about that. And then the last things I picked up were some candles. Most of them are gifts. But last year 
I picked up these candles. They make me think of Bath and Body Works. I've never been to Bath and Body Works, but that's the style that they make me think of. So you've got fluffy marshmallow and you've got twisted peppermint and they both smell amazing. And I picked one of each of these up last year, but what I couldn't get last year, in fact, I might have even got two of them last year, I could never get hold of the gingerbread jingle. I nearly bought this on eBay recently because that's how pathetic I am to have the set. But it was £14.99 and I thought, you can F off, to be honest. <laughs> I'm not paying £15 for a candle that costs £2.50 in the shop, so it just wasn't happening. Um, but I went in today and they only had two left of this, so I picked up both of the gingerbread jingle. And probably going to keep those myself because what I tend to do is burn one and keep one because I'm a bit of a hoarder. Well, I'm a lot of a hoarder. And then I just picked up a couple extra of the marshmallow and the twisted peppermint for gifts, basically, because they're only £2.49. And that's it. That's my tiny little home bargain tool. I did pick up a little bag, which I'll show you. It's 69p. It's this white one with leaves on it and little birds. And then it's got like a green gingham on the side. Nice long handles, but as I say, I'm an idiot because most of my bags are at home and then I keep forgetting to have them like spare ones in the car. All of mine in the car are basically being used. And the only other thing that I've bought, we stopped at the co-op the other day to get some brandy for Matt's dad because it was Matt's dad's birthday and he'd asked for some brandy. So we stopped to, to get him a bottle and while I was in there, I spotted this wrapping paper. Now, I've got quite a lot of wrapping paper now. These were £2 a roll, um, but three for two. So it's cost me £4 for three rolls. But I just got it to wrap Matt's presents in because it's got polar bears on it. And I know he'll be obsessed with that. So, yeah, that's the only other thing that I've bought that I have not yet filmed. She hopes that I don't have to do any more filming because there is stuff everywhere and I actually need to start wrapping my presents. So I hope you've enjoyed having a little look, a little look at some of my hauls. Um, I know it's a bit late for you to get ideas for this Christmas, but hopefully it's given you some ideas moving forward or there's probably very similar things that you've bought for your family members as well. So thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video, which potentially might be a Christmas home tour. Oh, I might have to do that. I will see you very soon. Love to you all. I hope you're enjoying your Christmas, whatever you are doing.